pastime returns to Petco Park tonight, but the Padres faithful will have to enjoy opening night from the comfort of their homes. Padres host the Arizona Diamondbacks in the first of 60 scheduled games in this shortened season without any fans in the stands. News 8's Kyle Kraske is outside of Petco Park for now with more. Kyle. Barb, as you know, I've never missed an opening day here at Petco Park, but tonight, although I would never have missed the game, I am certainly missing the celebration, all the pomp and circumstance, the tens of thousands of fans that would be here with me right now on these concourses. And yet instead, as you can see, it is very, very quiet outside and around Petco Park. Normally, these gates would be bustling with activity. Fans would be getting ready to flow through. And as you can see beyond the gates, the Colonel, the late great Jerry Coleman at the ready to salute all the fans coming into the park tonight. But Colonel, sorry, they will not be showing up tonight. Even the Padre ticket window normally would have a stream of fans getting ready to pick up their tickets and head into the ballpark. Remember, we're just one hour away from game time, and unfortunately, it is very, very quiet. Same is the case inside the yard. I was just inside there, and here's a look from my vantage point. I'll be sitting in the press box tonight, and you can see the Padre players on the field there taking batting practice and getting ready for their game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. And as we get closer and closer, you can see behind home plate, the Padres have set up some cardboard cutouts. Those are family members and friends of Padres players in order to welcome them and make them feel somewhat normal tonight. But I'll tell you what, the players all say the goal has not changed whatsoever. This team wants to do what no other Padre team has ever done. Uh, we're aiming for the big cake, man. We're, we're aiming for everything. Uh, I think the boys are ready. I think we have a very good team out here. I think the, the new guys that are coming in, uh, they have that real quick and uh, they're bringing, they're adding to our game. So I think we're just going to aim for the big cake and why not? Let's go win a World Series. <laughs> why not? So where will you be watching tonight's opening day? There are, as you know, around Petco Park, several options like way up in the sky. There are many high rise buildings and offices all around Petco Park, so maybe you'll have an opportunity to peer in over the walls. We've got live team coverage for you tonight. Four reporters on hand all around Petco Park. So let's begin with Abby Alford and our own John Howard with some options on viewing the game tonight here at Petco Park. Abby and John. Hey, Kyle. Yes, you know, it is opening day and it is pretty eerie just to see J Street and everything around Petco Park just quiet. Not a lot of fans. We've seen a few having their uh, wearing their Padres gear. But if you come here on opening day, usually J Street is closed off to have that block party. There are lines to get in, especially if we're at an hour and five minutes away from the first pitch. There's a lot of people bustling in usually, but if you look around, you can see that there are still ways that uh, you can try to watch the game. If you know any friends and friends and friends of in, lo in high places, uh, we are here at the Capital Mortgage Trading Office. I got my hot dog. I got my peanuts. I am ready, 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 ready to watch some baseball. I love baseball and it's just um, I think even if you aren't a baseball fan just to see sports happen, this is what it's all about. And let's bring in John Howard because we're fans of baseball. That's right. I mean, what is it like, John, when we look out and this is quiet here at Petco Park? It's very quiet. I mean, this feels like a Tuesday midday with nothing going on. I come down here sometimes to shoot stand ups to preview the Padres. And this is what it feels like. Normally, an hour before first pitch, this would be hustling and bustling people showing up. So it's amazing how quiet it is down here. But I think what's so awesome is that, you know, even though we won't see any fans on the inside and if you kind of will pan over and just kind of take a look here inside Petco Park, uh, we see no fans inside. We see barely anyone um, down on the ball field. It's right over uh, Bark at the park. But what MLB is trying to do in the Padres, they really want to bring in fans so you can go on the app and you can either cheer and boo and they're going to be playing that sound. What do you think it'll be like for the players to really have, you know, that that fake audio of, of, of fans cheering? You know, every player will tell you, I didn't even hear the crowd when I scored that touchdown or hit that home run. But I, how can you not notice it? And they they thrive off that energy that a crowd brings, especially in reaction to a great play or to a controversial play by the opposing team and I think the players are going to miss that this season. There's no doubt. Well, we're going to miss going inside Petco Park, but I think we got a pretty good view right here. So let's play ball. 